What is going on you guys, this is TechHD coming at you with a brand new video and finally we are going to be reviewing the Elgato Wave mic arm. This is one of the two mic arms that Elgato came out with and I already made a review video of the LP version so I'm going to have the link down in the description below so that you guys can go check it out. But basically I've been using the Wave mic arm for months now and I honestly truly love it and I'm going to explain why and we're going to be diving in, we're going to be taking a look at all the features, what it comes with, talk about the specs and do some comparison comparisons and also do some mic tests. We're going to try out a heavy microphone and a lightweight microphone. So let's get right into it. So taking a look at what it all comes with, we got the quick start guide, the desk clamp, a detachable riser, a counterweight, a quarter inch to 3F adapter, a quarter inch to 5 8 adapter, and an Allen wrench. And finally, we have the Wave mic arm itself. Setting up the Wave mic arm is very easy. First, you attach the desk clamp to the mic arm itself or the detachable riser, and you use the Allen wrench to tighten and secure it. You can also attach the counterweight for microphones that are 250 to 750 grams. That's about 0.55 to 1.65 pounds. Now the cable routing used has a cable channel that easily fits a USB or XLR cable and uses a rubber sleeve to hold the cable. You can also see the ball head having a quarter inch thread and I'm glad that Elgato provides the adapters since not all mic mounts are the same. Mounting the arm is very easy and the desk clamp is just like their multi mounts and can expand up to 2.4 inches. Now I have my mic arm attached next to my vertical monitor going across to the center and I have no problems maneuvering the arm and everything feels very smooth and secure. I love the 360 degree ball rotation so I can easily angle the microphone however way I want. It's able to hold the Rode Procaster with the shock mount with no problems. I also love how the mic arm looks, it has a very clean design without showing the springs and easily hiding the cable too. The cable management is amazing, no problems at all with the cover coming off while moving the arm and it's not tugging the cable too. Alright you guys, so now I want to show you how the Wave mic arm works with my microphone setup. So I got the Rode Procaster with the shock mount and the mic foam. This weighs about 2.5 pounds and I've been using this for a few months now and I seriously love how the Wave mic arm handles my microphone so easily. I have honestly have no problems at all when it comes to the uh, mic arm and what I really love is how smooth I can easily just adjust something. So I'm going to show you guys real quick. I can easily lift it up down and have no problem extend this out it stays i can lower this i really like that it's spring loaded and i've had no problems ever since as far as moving this goes i could easily like angle this take this with me pull it back you know if i want to go more inward if i want to extend this more outward i could do this and i honestly have no problem with and the other major thing that I love is the way of the cable management goes. So the cable routing with this rubber piece, this does not come off. I've had no problems whatsoever when it comes to the cable being pulled. Like it's not tugging anything. Everything is nicely organized and this piece does not come off if I do any minor adjustments or anything like that. Compared with the video that I made about the Wave Arm LP, this middle piece kept on coming off whenever I did some minor adjustments with the microphone because the cable is braided and it's actually a little bit thicker and it's XLR. But for some reason, this the magnets would not hold this metal piece. And so that's why I recommended that they get stronger magnets. And actually, this piece right here is a piece of the magnet. This actually came off from the actual stand. So definitely stronger magnets. I definitely recommend when it comes to the LP version. But the way that this wave arm, uh, the regular wave arm is set up, I honestly love it. I love the sleeve version 100 times more. It's much more um, stable. I've had no problems with like the cable pulling it or coming off or getting loose or anything like that. I love the spring and it doesn't make any creaking noises or anything at all. And I do have the extension rod because I like to push this like behind my monitor setup. And but I really like how this is set up. So this is usually how I have it set up. Now I want to show you guys a lighter microphone, definitely like a USB one for example, and see how that one performs. And then we're also going to be testing the weight as well. Since this is spring loaded, it's going to easily just go right back up. But with this counterweight, hopefully it'll help out with that. Alright you guys, so now we are trying out a USB microphone. This one is the Comica USB microphone. This weighs like under a pound basically. I have the pop filter here and we tested this out as well with the Wave Arm LP version. And so this is the regular one. I added the counterweight on it because then the spring wave definitely went up. I have the USB routed to the cable just on the first one because the port's right here in the front. And 
honestly easy setup nothing crazy at all it comes with the thread adapter i needed the thread adapter in order to mount it onto here the ball head is easy to adjust and let me know what you guys think as far as this goes if you guys use a regular usb microphone or if you guys go with an xlr but same concept stupidly easy to adjust nothing major at all you know and it stays in place i do little fine adjustments push this forward like I said this microphone is super light it weighs nothing but yeah so you could do minor adjustments and it stays perfectly in place it doesn't move it doesn't go up it doesn't go down it doesn't like weigh down or anything like that which I honestly love so whether you're using an XLR microphone like the Rode Procaster with the shock mount and the mic foam or you're using a pod mic or even the Shure SM7B or you use a regular USB microphone like the Comica or a Rode one or even Elgato's Wave 3 microphone this thing will handle it no problem at all so my overall thoughts on the Elgato Wave mic arm is I honestly believe that this is one of the best options to go with for the price. For $100, you really can't go wrong with this. And I upgraded from the Blue Compass. And one of the major things I hated about the Blue Compass is the tightening knobs. These are, you have one in the middle and one in the ends. And throughout time, they start to wear and tear. You had to constantly tighten them and it couldn't hold my microphone anymore. And you can see that this piece just got extremely loose it kind of basically broke off and it just couldn't hold my microphone and so that was one of the major things that I hated about the blue compass as well as the cable management like I said my XLR cables are pretty thick and braided and so throughout time just doing little adjustments these clips started to come off and the cable started to get loose and all that and so that's another thing that I hated about the blue compass now Elgato solved all of that the sleeve as far as for holding the cable is perfect I've honestly have had no problems with it whatsoever and then on top of that there is no knobs that you need to tighten or anything like that I love that it's just spring loaded and you just lower raise it move it around do anything like that and there is no problem it stays where it needs to so I love the fact that there's no tightening knob the only one is for the ball head and that one I've had no problem with whatsoever and so I love the fact that you don't have to worry about any of the issues that the Blue Compass has. Not only that, but comparing it to the Elgato Wave Mic Arm LP version, in that video, I also complained that one of the major things that I did not like was the uh, cable routing and that this piece is magnetic and throughout time, same thing. Any little minor things that I did, it made uh, this piece will come off and the magnets weren't strong enough and you can even see the magnet is off from the actual arm and so that was one of the things i didn't like about that and also the fact that i had to over tighten the knob a little bit in order to hold my road procaster and that one is wasn't even near the weight capacity as far as what the mic arm lp supported whereas the mic arm the regular mic arm i've had no problems whatsoever when it comes to the pod mic when it comes to a light microphone like the comico one when it comes to my procaster if i had the sure sm7b it would probably have no problems at all now i am currently rocking the extension tube and the reason for that is because i have a vertical monitor and so whenever i want to store it away i usually want to put it behind the monitor and so having that extension tube makes it a lot easier when it comes to that i've also used it without it and i've had no problems as well I wish that the tube was available for the mic arm LP version and there was a reason why and I'll have a link down description below to that video so that you guys can see why I explain why I would want that extension tube for the LP, v, uh, LP version. Um, but basically I've had no problems with that extension tube now I don't really have a con but the major thing that I want Elgato to add in their second generation if they ever come out with one is the fact that I want this joint to have like a little bit of uh, movement so I can move this piece a little bit farther back or forward compared uh, apart from this one similar to the wave mic arm LP version so the reason for that is because I have the vertical monitor and whenever I'm streaming I move this much closer to the main monitor but it hits the vertical monitor and I can't push this any farther and so that was the major thing that I loved about the wave mic arm LP is that once this piece hit the monitor I could still push the other one a little bit farther back and that makes it easier for me when it comes to typing and using the stream deck and so unfortunately this one I would love for them to add that and it would make it a hundred times better and definitely worth it a lot more regardless without it i still had no problem when it comes to streaming it just gets a little bit more in the way but i could easily like i said like lift this up whenever i want to type it or move it away 
whenever I want to type it or use the stream deck or anything like that. But definitely Elgato. Definitely add like a little joint so I could push this piece apart from this piece a little bit farther back or a little bit forward. I think that would be a huge upgrade. But there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below on what you guys think about the Elgato Wave mic arm and definitely my comparison when it comes to the mic arm LP version and what you guys think as far as pros and cons. And definitely let me know what boom arm you guys are rocking and which one I should definitely review next. I know a lot of you guys were telling me about the Aver Media one because it is a mixture of both the Wave mic arm and the LP version. So I'm very curious as far as that one goes. And that one actually has the joint that I was mentioning that I want Elgato to add. So definitely Elgato add that piece to the second generation and I will buy that in a heartbeat. But there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below on what you guys think about it. And everything will be linked down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you guys can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Follow me on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Twitch, and TikTok. As always, to take HD. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.